Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial video. Uh, I'm going to be installing a pair of xenon bulbs on my E46 M3. Um, I think that this car still has the OEM bulbs and they don't have enough power. The reach of the bulbs is quite poor so when I'm driving at night uh, I don't see as much as I should, at least in my opinion. Uh, I decided to go for a pair of Osram Nightbreaker Laser. These are one of the best bulbs that, if not the best bulb that Osram makes. They also make the cool blue intense, I know. They are, that's a, a wider, uh, that's a wider bulb, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for range. Um, this car in particular, it's got the uh, headlight washer, which adds a degree of difficulty. And some people, they say that they can do it from this side right here. I wasn't able, I didn't have enough space. So what I'm going to do, what I already did for this headlight, is I'm going to uh, just remove them a little bit, pull them out, and go from there. Um, that one was... I mean, mediumly easy because it's it's a tight fit, and I ended up losing one screw that fell down, and now I'm going to have to purchase a new one. For this tutorial, we are going to need a small flathead, an extension for the socket, a ratchet, an eight millimeter socket, and a Phillips screwdriver. What you're going to remove first is this bolt right here. You'll need a screwdriver to remove it. You need to remove this blinker to gain access to this trim. This is going to have to come off as well. Then we are going to have one bolt, two bolts, and other two extra bolts down here. Be careful because these are quite easy to fall and it's a tight fit. I would like to tell you, just to keep in mind, you don't need to remove this screw all the way. You just need to unscrew it a little bit and then this will come out. Uh, what you gotta do now is you just have to... There's a little tab right here. You press this tab and you can remove this easily. Now that we've got the turn signal out of the way, we just need to remove the headlight washer. I'm going to use... Uh, flat head as well as a piece of cloth. I'm going to stick it right here and I'm just going to pry this out. Now that you've got this trim piece out of the way, um, you've got enough leverage, what you're going to do is you're going to just pull it all the way out and the nozzle will move itself from the tube that feeds the water so it's going to squirt a little bit of uh, water everywhere so just keep that in mind now that you got this uh, the headlight washer out of the way we are going to remove this trim uh, the way I like to do it is I like to remove this part here first there is a little tab you just need to press it and this comes out quite easily you don't need to pull it in, pull on it or you might break it uh, after that you come to this side and you just need to carefully, even with just your hands, you just need to pull it uh, that way. If you pull it that way, it's going to come off quite easily. You should end up with something like this. And now you're just going to pull this this way. If you want, you can also use a screwdriver here with a, a cloth and just pry it out. Now I got this piece removed it was quite a pain I wasn't expecting this to be as much of a pain as it was the the driver's side was much 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 easier this one I was able to take it off so it looks like this maybe this gives you an idea of what you need to do and it just it's a little tab luckily I didn't break it what you're going to do now is remove this screw this screw and that rusty screw over there as well as that screw over there i think you can just about see it and trust me this is going to be tricky but you can do it if i could do it you could do it as i said this was the hard part i have now removed um, all the bolts and what ended up happening again was that the 
bolts from this side it fell on that part so luckily I had removed already the bottom bolt bolts so I just need to remove these two what I lost was the the tip of the extension along with the bolt because it's really really a tight squeeze so you need to be careful uh, I also advise you to get um, some magnets because if something falls down you're going to need magnets to pick it up what I'm going to do now is I'll just remove this which is quite easy you have this tab here you just press on it and you pull up it should come out easily and you can put this aside now remove this cap and and I'll show you what to do next with that cap removed now you have that red part what you need to do now is you just need to twist it and it's free this is the bulb and this is what you're going to be replacing in this headlight uh, I have now removed the bulb just as a heads up the bulb usually goes in like this so it pops in like this and this cap you're going to remove this cap and you're going to install it on the other bulb it's got on the back here I cannot show you but can trust me it's got a, a marking saying top uh, first you put the bulb in and then you put this cap on top and you just screw it you just it's it's quite easy you'll figure it out what I can tell you is that having done one side already this side is going much easier um, as as you can see I haven't reinstalled the new bulb and now just gotta put that cap on and put everything back together it should be quite easy now bulb reinstalled the um, the cover of the headlight or has also reinstalled don't forget to put this back on and now just bolts back on as well uh, my advice as I learned on the other side first fit the bottom ones and only then the top ones because if you end up dropping one of these bolts from the bottom it's it's easy to just take these out and and try to reach for the bolt and surprise surprise I got this screw in I got the two bottom screws in this screw it fell actually it wasn't this one that fell it was one of these here but I just decided to put both of these on and just leave this hanging I'll purchase one from BMW as soon as possible and this exact same thing happened to this side it's because the two screws uh, on the bottom it's actually four the two screws on the bottom they are uh, quite a pain and if if you touch anything while trying to put them inside the their hole um, they will fall and my ratchet doesn't have a magnet so it's just making things harder for me and there it is if you have made it this far you should pat yourself on the back when I started doing this uh, this tutorial I had no idea that it would be this tough uh, I mean, it's not because of, I mean, it's not overly complicated, it's just that it's quite fiddly. Um, the places where the screws are and the misinformation as well. Um, so just keep this in mind. It's four screws that you need to remove from each headlight and need to be careful, especially with the plastic trim. Um, but I think you'll be able to manage it and the results might just speak for themselves. Now I will show you a little bit of footage from uh, the difference of the bulbs and hopefully there will be a difference. I will be letting you know on the comments or the description down below if I noticed a big difference or not and if this is worth it. But uh, my two cents or if you have enough time uh, you can do this yourself if you don't just don't bother with it ask a mechanic to do it and he'll have more experience and I mean you won't hurt your hand doing it but it, it was a nice experience and now I now I know how to do this quite well so guys um, that's it for this tutorial I hope I was able to help you um, like I said before, there wasn't any uh, 
any tutorial, anything that spoke about specifically the M3. And what I learned is that there are key differences between the M3 and other models. Uh, I looked at touring versions, uh, sedan versions of the regular E46, but this car, I don't know if it's because it's the M3 or because it's got the headlight washers, it's got a different setup, how you install, how you remove the headlight. And for me, I read on the forums that you could do it without removing the, the headlight. Some people said yes, yeah, some people said no. I have no idea why exactly, but for my car, which is an O2, uh, I decided to remove the headlight. It was quite easy to install the bulbs while having the headlight off. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and share this video as well. Uh, I think it's important to keep this car on the road as much as possible. This car is becoming a classic, and the bulbs that it came with, despite being good at the time, they had already They've been there for 18 years now and the bulbs that I installed, they appear to be much, much better, but I'll, I'll test drive them and I'll let you know. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.